14,350 pounds and rated for full-time RVing the Montana 3760 or 3761 depending on which refrigerator is present uh, landing for another season here at Haylet RV of Coldwater Michigan and I'm happy to see it because it solves the biggest problem with front living rooms with an elevated rear bath and a half bedroom it gives it outside storage that most front living rooms simply lack then again with Montana being the number one choice of full-time RVers for over 17 consecutive years, shouldn't come as a surprise to anybody. And man, oh man, does Montana know how to do the touches and the details, the look and the feel. There's, it's, it's not a reason they're pretty much the top of the heap of what they do. Um, the uh, normally I, I would start our interior portion of our tour with the slides closed. By the time I got to this RV, it had already been all opened up. Somebody couldn't wait to take a look at it, which is cool. Uh, Montana's generate that kind of excitement. That makes sense. But um, I will, uh, at the end of our interior, before we step outside, get her all closed up so you can see it that way. Now, naturally, the calling card of a front living room is the, well, <laughs> front living room. And one of the things I want to point out as we're looking around here, if you look up top, you can see those two little air intake vents. This is a dual whisper air system. Now that's a true whisper air because ladies and gentlemen, if you don't see the square, then you won't hear the air. There are, again, those pretender brands out there, they keep calling their thing a whisper air system, but it's a normal centrally ducted air. It provides the same normal noise as anything else. Uh, if, if, unless it has the whisper ducted baffling, it's not a whisper air system. So keep, it, keep that in mind a little bit. Now, one of the cool things that they do here on this is that it's a couple's model, but with some awesome, awesome guest capacity. Because not only do you have two of these large fold-out tri-fold sleeper sofas, of which I can confidently say two adults can spend a, uh, a weekend on those, because my wife and I, in a Montana family camping trip in the back of Mr. Halet's 3120RL Montana fifth wheel, we both got along just swimmingly on those. Now this is one of those areas too when you're sleeping, the day-night uh, blackout roller shades that we're looking at and all of that overhead indirect lighting, they can be super, super cool at nighttime because what you can do is what I like to call stealth mode camping. You turn off all the main direct lights, turn on only the indirect lights and it's like everything just kind of glows and you can see your way around the RV well enough. Uh, you just don't get blinded at night. It's also really nice in the morning when you first wake up, and if you're like me, you're a little bit of a zombie. They also take that extra step to include this handy little privacy curtain right here, so that if someone is crashed out in the front living room, and you want to come down here and make breakfast or coffee or something like that, you're not making direct line of sight contact with one another, because being stared at while you're sleeping and waking up, oh, that is just creepy. We'll come back to the kitchen in full detail in just a minute, but first there's a little wall control switch there that will help you activate that uh, rain sensoring max air vent fan up there so you can get that sweet, awesome airflow and, uh, you know, not have to poke at it with a broom to turn it off and on. Now, if you notice, presto change of the TV went away in Joe. <laughs> That's so stupid. I can't believe I just said it. Anyway. Around the entertainment center, we've got all kinds of storage stuff. Down below our electric space heating fireplace. And that smoky glass panel right above the fireplace, that is where things like our, uh, uh, you know, DVD, Bluetooth, um, HDMI plugs and all that stuff is located. Actually, why am I talking about it? Why am I just not opening this up? You see that you've got room here if you want to add like a Blu-ray player or something. And just so you know, your remote controls can get through that glass. So it's not like you got to come over here and open that up every single time you want to. So the fireplace is an electric space heater. You can use it in heatless mode if you are so interested. You just want to have the cool visuals and you want to run the air conditioner. I know I would do that. Um, also, you have uh, in your air conditioner up here... A 16,500 BTU electric heat pump, plus you have 12 volt tank heaters. Montana's standard basically have two heating systems, one propane, one electric, and you can run them simultaneously. That's pretty awesome. You see the storage all the way around the entertainment center. You see the TV went away, but there is a blackout privacy shade for the front windshield. I just don't have it open all the way because the camera goes, knock it off, dude. Uh, a couple cool things here, though. Montanas are now not just roof solar ready, but they took a page out of Cougar's book and got inverter ready, and then they took it further. 
So there are like five different sets of outlets, one of them being right there for the television entertainment center in this RV that are pre-wired for inverters. So if you want to, you can uh, you know do some off-grid camping and still enjoy basically full function of your Montana. Um, again, all the windows will open for airflow. They all have day-night blackout shades. Uh, we already saw the height of beds Over here we have our uh, power recline heat massage theater seating with USB plugs built right into those little silver circles in the armrests. And what we're looking at here is the darker decor. Montana, their woodwork never changes. The, the window treatments never change. Only the couch colors change. Even the dinette doesn't change. Um, and uh, personally, I really like, uh, normally I say, oh, I like this one a little, I like that one a little. I like the darker Montana look. I think it gives it a very high class, stately kind of sophistication. I'm, I'm a big fan of it. Now, um, if you notice this little kind of countertop right behind the theater seat, that is all like hardwood topped, which is nice. But a more recent update in the world of Montana, something that we'll be able to see more detail on in the kitchen, is the fact that all of the cabinet styles are now hardwood, not a, uh, a lumber core with a wrap. But I think jumping back down here is one of the best ways to get a good look at the uh, kitchen area. I'm going to sweep you around here real quick, and then we're just going to start opening everything up. Because front living rooms very often have rather pitiful kitchens, but this one, this one, not the case. Before we get everything open, though, I want to look over here. Built into the stairs, you have your central vacuum system, but you also have something I really like, the uh, electric dustpan. That's a big rectangle at the bottom. That's my little name for it. You don't actually have to get out the whole sucker hose pool cleaner tubey jobs, which is technical talk. That's jargon. I, I, I'm, you know, I'm pretty sure you'll follow along, though. Um, you can just sweep everything right into that. And as long as we're talking about sweeping stuff up, other than the carpet square I use to clean my feet off, these are completely carpetless flooring even here in the slide. This little woven thing you're looking at, that's kind of like the same type of floor you'd find in a pontoon boat. So if you spill a drink on it, you can scrub that, clean that, uh, you know, do whatever you want with it. That is some heavy-duty, rugged kind of stuff right there. All right, all opened up. We're going to get cracking. We're going to start with our command center. This is where all your, you know, buttons, switches for all your bells, whistles, and whiz-bangs are located, including the switches for our 12-volt tank heaters. Um, if you get a Montana with the solar package, that uh, sticker tells you that's where the charge controller could be mounted. I like the lighting here in the uh, kind of coffee bar. That'll fit a Keurig machine, by the way. And there are some TV hookups there. If you want to do like a dedicated kitchen entertainment versus the living room entertainment, you can do that. Although I like the way they have this kind of wide open. You can just sort of peek over the horizon and see what's going on. And it's cool because you have a definition of a living room, a definition of a kitchen, but nothing really gets left out. I think I need to change my battery. Light's getting a little dim in here. But first, down below in the uh, cabinetry here, of course, all hardwood cabinet doors, all pocket screwed cabinetry. Now you have your choice of a refrigerator in a Montana. 3760 is the RV two-way refrigerator. 3761 is the residential refrigerator. We tend to stock pretty much only exclusively RV fridges, two-way fridges here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. We have reasons for it. If you'd like to know, give us a call. Opinions can vary on that. I totally, totally get it. There's no right, no wrong answer to any of it. It's just the one that works best for you. We found that this works best for our customers once they understand what it does, how to use it. I like that strut on that like double cabinet above as well. And this slide is tall, like a toy hauler. And I love it because this kitchen, otherwise, it could be uh, considered a little bit lacking in storage space, but it, it really benefits here. You see the big standard convection microwave oven. Down below, we've got the uh, pop-up power tower. And then, oops, I forgot to open all those drawers. Let me get them popped open for you. There we go. Drawers open, fresh battery, more light. Because uh, I tell you, Montana's got a lot of lighting going on in here. Just drawers galore. It's down to the floors over here. But as we pivot around, you can see you've also got this whole island. Now, you've got the high-rise sprayer faucet set above the solid surface uh, sink covers right there. But what's kind of nice is you also have uh, some good storage below that, as well as that countertop extension, which is really, really key. I've seen some people go, why do they have the countertop flip up like that? When you see the RV closed, you'll realize that it's to access the refrigerator without opening a slide out. So first of all, take note, popping the one cover off, stainless inset into the solid surface counter. You have one farm sink and one traditional sink, so you've kind of got like veggie prep and big pots and pans cleaning capacity. That's one of the things my mother, Mrs. Halet, likes about her Montana, the big sink right there. Plenty of space down here for larger pots and pans or all your dish soaps and stuff like that. 
and the handy dedicated wastebasket drawer so that you don't got to go, you know, tying Walmart bags to the cabinets of your beautiful luxury full-time warrantied fifth wheel. <laughs> um, now, one thing I like about this model, it's got just windows everywhere, and especially on the campsite. Like right here, if we're looking out at our campsite, ideally you wouldn't have the shades drawn. But uh, even a full window in the entry door, not to mention all the viewing capacity that you have up front in the RV. This thing just has awesome visibility. Like if you're overlooking a lakeside or a mountain or something like that, whoo, this is a slick one. Now, uh, I mean, even indirect lighting up here in the slide, every area of this thing has like navigation night lighting. Down below here, this is not a bunk model. This is primarily intended for like couples use or individual use. So most of the time, you're gonna benefit from this diesel pusher style dinette where you just have the two fixed full-time chairs. But Montana also gives us a pair of fold-away guest chairs. And if you notice, I intentionally left one foot on the slide, one foot off, because it's a floor flush slide, so that you can see that that chair is not gonna sit all jihad. Now the trick is that table's, you know, a little small for four chairs. Well, first it extends outward to give us a little bit of elbow room, but that's really still just kind of a bigger table for two people, maybe a good board game table. Thankfully, there's an additional extension leaf so that you can see that even with a big gap between those two chairs, you still have plenty of tabletop space for everybody. Not to mention, you can keep like all your condiments or decorations up on that little shelf bureau thing with the pop-up power tower. And this is really the key to it all right here, the kind of what I call destination dining desk easy lift system. Some storage below that, but it's these two runners that pop out when you need them. Kind of like drawers, really, except it's just a wooden support beam to support that tabletop. And one more cool thing they do over here in their dinette. It comes with these straps to keep the chairs in place in transit, but you don't really need them because of what I like to call the chair buddy, and I recently found out Montana adopted my nomenclature for this. So uh, you're welcome, Montana. I'll, uh, I'll expect absolutely no check in the mail for that. <laughs> and it's also kind of neat seeing it open and then closed or closed then open, because it, it dramatically changes the amount of space you have here. It's nice and wide open to be able to walk through, but that's not all the storage you have yet. Another like dedicated floor to super ceiling pantry space over here, right next to our half bathroom. Now a quick note on this half bathroom. There's a lot of people go, I don't need a half bath. I don't, I don't, I don't care about this. I don't want this. Like neat. It's got a porcelain foot flush stool. You got that uh, sealed edge countertop stuff in there, stainless sink, nice mirror in the wall, storage above. Uh, max air vent fan with uh, you know rain sensor like here in the living room. That's all well and good. But uh, I don't care about any of that. I want storage. Well, Montana now makes a second version of this, basically a clone version of this floor plan that does not have a half bath, but has a, what they're calling a butler pantry, like a literal walk-in pantry. So they make it both ways. This video basically applies to both of those. The other one is model number 3976BP. <laughs> I'm still learning the number, obviously. But uh, if that's what you're looking for, give us a call here at Halet RV. We'll get one coming for you. Or we could just, you know, take the sledge o and knock the cabinets out of that one. How's that sound, man? Moving up past either the half bath or the butler pantry, depending on which one we're looking at. They kind of make four versions of the same thing here. Two, well, one with a half bath, one with a pantry, one with a resi fridge, one with an RV fridge. No matter what, it'll lead you up here. And down there, I like that little magnet hold back. So if you want to keep that door open, you know, it doesn't tend to, uh, you know, kind of want to swing and bang around. Now, over here, this is interesting. Because the whole upper deck of this is so atypical for Montana, this is your primary closet space, although they've got a huge amount of dresser space next to us. One of the things I love is just that as you reach in here, ah, ignore my gross, sweaty arm, you've got motion sense lighting, which is nice. And I love that center support right there. That. People don't realize how important that is. Like, my mother... A Montana user packs like crazy. And if that was just one long beam, it would not hold. But a center support like that, you're going to be fine. And remember, this is all hardwood cabinetry now. It's not like a lumber core with a style wrap. And if you look down here, you see that this is our washer dryer area. It would be a side-by-side, -side, although mm, you might be able just to sacrifice that overhead cabinet there. You could go side-by-side -side or you could go stackable. I guess it just depends on what you want to do. You got the dual fully mirrored sliding doors will help this room look and feel bigger. And remember, 
true dual 15,000 dual whisper air. You don't see the square, you won't hear the air. And that might be annoying and stupid, you're like, it's not that funny, guy, why do you keep saying it? Because again, there are these other brands who have used the name whisper air as a brand name, not as a feature. So it's really important you understand the difference. Uh, this has what I call the Cyclops window overhead in the slide out above the headboard. It doesn't open for airflow, but you can see you can block out the light. Still day night light or shades rather in here. And notice how even within the bed slide, Montana is giving household and USB plugs on both sides of the bed. They are very in tune with uh, the folks who maybe have uh, CPAP needs. I also really like that they have full storage down here. This is where those fold-away guest chairs would normally ride, and I left one down there just to give you a good view, but I shoved the central vacuum stuff, the power cord, the chair down there, and there's still room to spare. That is a big old chunk of uh, potential storage capacity. But it's, it's not stuff you're going to need every day, it's just stuff that's nice to have. I like that kind of farm feeling sort of almost like wrought iron hardware they have in that rolling uh, magnet latch door, by the way. It kind of magnet catches open or closed, which is really handy. Now over here, this is where I said you could see some extra storage in the bedroom. Note too how that television, downward angle mounted, so even in the bedroom you have a no neck wrecker entertainment center, just like the theater seat and living room straight across from the TV on the corner of Boardwalk and Park Place, across the street from Haywood RV. <coughs> Product placement. Anyway. Uh, down below, um, this is another area, like in the kitchen, there was uh, another location for um, your inverter prepped outlets. You see that yellow sticker on the outlet? If you uh, it, wire in an inverter or get a solar package with inverters, such as the Super Solar Flex, which we have info on here at Halet RV, that, uh, well, the Super Solar Flex, all outlets are live, but with Simple Solar Flex, if that makes sense, um, yeah, that, that one will be live, not all outlets. It's With multiple solar packages, it's tricky to say that in a way that makes sense, and I, I'm not sure I did it successfully. Quick look at everything all closed up here, too, so it doesn't look quite so cluttered for you. And again, it's nice how you close everything up, and the walking space here is sharp. I, um, I always try to, I try to be fair. If I see something that's maybe someone might see as a negative, I try to address it proactively. Let's go ahead and get the elephant out of the room. It's a little tight around the bed. Now, the king bed that we're looking at here, 70 by 80 king, is optional. If you want more room to walk around the bed, stick with the standard 60 by 80 queen. But here's the logic Mr. Halo gives me as a Montana owner who wants a king bed in his, even if it means less room to walk around the bed. He says, Josh, at worst, I spend two or three minutes making the bed, and I spend six to nine hours sleeping in it. I'd rather sleep comfortably for nine hours than, than be a little more convenient making the bed for two or three minutes. Now, maybe you disagree. That's fine. There's different opinions. Again, if you don't like what you see here, give us a call. We'll make one to your preferences. We don't care. We would just like to earn your business and know that we're more than willing to go to whatever effort is required to do that, as long as it is legal, ethical, and moral. Those are important qualities for us here as a family-owned and operated facility. And this rear bathroom, ooh, it's nice. Let's start from the top. A third rain sensory max air vent fan as we work our way down. I like that ceiling panel, by the way, the little... Color touch on that. That's what Cougars are going to use in I bet. Oh, I saw Cougar at a different ceiling panel. That is sharp. I just, I, we've been, uh, it, you know, in a lower deck so much, I never really thought about it, but that looks good. Just a little texture. Anyway, sorry, I saw a squirrel. Anyway, fiberglass, molded, one-piece shower with a corner comfort seat right there. And if I swing around the corner, something uh, my wife and I would enjoy, the height adjustable hardware on this, because I am tall and she is gravity friendly we'll say it that way so us being able to adjust the shower to our individual comforts would be great dual lavatory which is fancy talk for two sinks stainless inset into a sealed edge thermal foil countertop and some serious storage in here toilet paper body wash shampoo conditioner and everything in between this may, you know, not surprise you as a person who's lacking a lot of hair. I don't really have a very intensive hair care routine, but I know that there are some people who could definitely benefit from this. I think there are some people who would like the double medicine cabinet so you can kind of have like, like a his and hers Lipitor serving station. Now, when I was recording the rest of the video, uh, it was getting kind of late in the day and I was moving fast and... I actually forgot to get this footage, so I came in early the next day to get the slides closed and give you a look here. Hope you appreciate that. I don't know why you'd really need to, but if you are traveling, you wanted to get up here to the upper deck, there's enough room. You can sneak through there between the slides, no problem. 
Now, if we come over here though, this is something I think Montana's done very well, and they do this on basically every model. They always make sure you can get into the refrigerator basically completely, even at a destination with the slides closed. So it doesn't matter if the RV's in storage, it doesn't matter uh, if you're making a travel stop, you can get through here if need be. Um, you can also, again, thanks to this little folding countertop that we talked about earlier, if you really had to, you could kind of sneak through here, and maybe one person could sit down and grab a bite to eat. But once again, with having the sofa access upstairs, maybe you have a little bit of a, a Dinofa eating station uh, at your travel stop, and I think that would that would probably be good enough for just like a quick sandwich to drink and hit the road. So as we slide outside, you see the entry door. Not only is it a nice 30 inch wide door, but it's also six and a half feet tall, just like the slides. That's why I kind of like this shot. You can see them side by side. It's a residential height door. That means big people like me, you're not gonna be inclined to knock your noggin on this thing. That's also an anti-slam door, and you can see Montana is, of course, using the better variety of zero G stable step here. So, you know, if you got a bad shoulder rotator cuff or something like that, it's not gonna throw your shoulder out. Also, right below that skirt line there, there is an outside gas grill hookup. So if you wanna do some grilling or get, got like a black stone, perfect place for it. As we back up here, you can see the optional slide awnings that we've applied to this one here in the video. That's something we like to do to pretty much all of our big Montanas here at Haylet RV. Uh, I just think it kind of, it goes right along with that, you know, full timing, retirement grade sort of look and feel. And uh, the little color updates they put on this to kind of sharpen up the contrast. It, this is not a paint package, but good gravy. Does it have that kind of look to it? Um, the uh, pin box and suspension go hand in hand. They're both a road armor system. And uh, Mr. Halet actually is a uh, Montana user himself. He has a 3120 and has for several seasons. That's actually the longest I've seen him stay in a specific floor plan, uh, you know, and considering he's my dad, I, I've known him, you know, maybe a long time. And um, <laughs> since, since kind of I was born. And uh, <laughs> my, my point though is he's always talking about how nicely his Montana toes. He just, he goes on and on about it. It's almost annoying. <laughs> Um, six point hydraulic auto leveling and on the main deck we have hydraulic slides. Now it is kind of cool if we come over here to where our uh, auto leveling controls are located, which first of all, I like that they're in this access door. They're not inside the baggage compartment so they're easy to reach. But the reason I talked about leveling and slides together is you have a slide flow control system right here. If you want to open only one or the other slide in that main kitchen area, you can choose which one you want or leave them both on and open them at the same time. You'll see this RV is rear camera prepped, but it is also now side camera prepped. You're finding this all over a lot of the more premium level uh, kind of trailers out there. Um, man, Jayco's doing them all over the place. Cougar as well here at Halet RV. Now with a front living room, you only have one room upstairs. It's just the living room. It's not a bedroom and a bathroom. As a result, our front pass-through storage is uh, reduced in comparison to uh, a common Montana, like say, again, that 3120 that my dad runs around with. However, again, with that elevated rear uh, you know, storage area, you're going to find that there is tons of storage and our central vac collection point is in there. You can also see that this compartment is also directly forced air heated. Montana is and has been zero degree uh, tested, proven capable since 2005. They get the job done, they get it done well. And it all kind of begins down here. The problem is you can only see a little bit of it. Down here, uh, looking at the drop frame, you see the uh, kind of like plastic bubble wrap polypropylene insulated belly cover plus they have insulation under or well i guess above that it is forced air heated and they have 12 volt tank heaters you may also be noticing they also come with the handy little stinky slinky tube so that you can keep your black tank stuff away from your fresh water drinking stuff and i want to zero in on the suspension system here I, I talked about it briefly but if you notice you've got grease zerks all over all these connection points that's called wet bolt fasteners this is a very nice suspension system, something that can be maintained and last a long time. Very nice if you wanna do a lot of towing with your 14,000 pound fifth wheel. The reason I'm really pointing this out is what I've seen happen this year is what I'm gonna call kind of the pretender luxury brands. They were using greased uh, axle systems and calling it wet bolts. But if it doesn't have grease zerks, it's not a wet bolt fastener. That's a different thing. So kind of keep that in mind. Now here, this is below 
the upper bedroom and bathroom deck and we're going to get to see this from a couple different angles but you can see just tons of aluminum structure going on and massive massive cargo space i believe they actually expanded this i remember this being not quite as large last season and i think that if you're somebody like a kayak owner or user you can put really large longer kayaks picnic tables grills griddles anything you want in there um frankly you got a grandkid uh, you could probably sleep them down in there instead of a tent, although I'm, I'm not actually recommending that. I'm just kind of being facetious here. So uh, with that elevated rear bed bath area, you're creating the opportunity for uh, this drop compartment storage over here. And this door that opens up, magnet latches and slam latches on that, just like basically everything else. And <laughs> again, everywhere you look on this thing, just a huge amount of cargo capacity. Also, you see the uh, hitch on the back here. That is an accessory receiver hitch. This is one of the very few Montanas that isn't going to have an actual towing hitch with the safety chain hooks and the four-way wiring. There's a few reasons for it. First of all, she is long. This is very long. In a lot of states, you're gonna have length restrictions. Only, you know, two states are you gonna not be able, or would you really be able to tow anything behind it? Secondly, um, the uh, drop frame storage compartments on the rear, if they added all the extra stuff for towing hitching, you'd be pretty close to dragging the ground and they didn't want you to have that happen. Now, take a look at the patio side over here. You see more access doors to that belly storage, but I think we've seen that enough. I've beaten that horse to death enough. But notice the second awning back here. You have an awning for your entry door and the kitchen slide, and then you have a second dedicated awning just for your rear private patio space. And uh, I, I think that's cool. And I like how it's kind of hidden back here behind that slide. It gives you a, a lot of kind of exclusivity. So if you just want a quiet little place for your picnic table to yourself, you don't have to worry about, you know, people kind of walking halfway across your campsite to meet you. That is kind of one of the benefits of having your picnic table at the back of a you know, 35 plus foot uh, fifth wheel of any variety. And a beautiful day today. Perfect time to get up here and take a look at the uh, nice white membrane that they have up here reflecting a lot of sun. This is uh, currently a TPO based roof membrane at the time of this filming. Keystone's been pretty consistent with that. Um, that's one of those things that has kind of, uh, some brands have gone TPO, PVC, rubber. I mean, it's kind of varied over the years, but I think Keystone's gonna be using this for a while. The uh, idea behind it is that it has like good grip for your shoes when you're walking around here, especially when you're washing it and it's wet, no big deal. Now a neat little thing, if you wanna add like a Camco vent cover, something like that, notice how they give you the little hookup flanges from the factory. So there's no like drilling, screwing, manipulating, necessary, no voiding of your warranty if you wanna add those things. Cheap, simple, easy, you just set it down, pop in the pins, and folks, you're done. Uh, this has dual 30,000 BTU Whisper Airs. I think I mentioned that inside, but this has been a long video and I kind of record these segments out of order sometimes. I'm not even sure what I've said and what I haven't said anymore. It's been a long day, I've been out in the sun. Uh, what I do want to talk about here are these roof attic vents. You see how they're up here at the highest points of the RV. Although, this floor plan, one of the reasons it weighs a chunk more than other Montanas is because it never tapers down in the back. Because you have that elevated rear bedroom, you see how it's all one level all the way through the roof never has that angle to it whatsoever one one of the other things too about having a larger montana all the open space that we're seeing right now you can go solar crazy with this thing because next to these little chimney pipes over here if you got your uh, jaboni solar prep right there this rv remember is roof side solar prepped and even inverter prepped so if you do want to do some kind of off-grid or just like stay over, lay over in the parking lot kind of camping, this is an RV brand. All of Montana does this. All Montanas can be stay over, off-grid capable, depending on how you want to equip them. They have a basic solar package. They have a super solar package. They have generator availability, a little bit of anything and everything. And maybe I'm biased, but I think one of the best places to, to get them is right there at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan, because we don't do hidden dealer fees, but we do everything else, whether it's hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything in between. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halo Camp and everyone.